just that this was this was a win for the community because um, everybody was really emotional and just um, thinking that that this was just going to go by the wayside and it did it. It did it. And, and how old mm -hmm. were you, Scott? Um, my husband is uh, his mother's cousin, first cousin. What was it like? Can you tell us for the family and everybody involved when the first trial ended in a mistrial and the family wanted different prosecutors, a different approach? They were very uh, discouraged, very disappointed. Uh, it wasn't the result they were expecting, and they were frustrated when they got a new set of uh, attorneys. But um, they followed through, and they, um, like he was saying, that they did a very good job. Well, you guys have been doing hashtag justice for John. Do you mm -hmm. do you feel like that's what happened today? Tell me about mm -hmm. the last year, year, year and a half. Well, uh, they got the verdict that they were hoping for. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And like his mother was saying. Um, Shauna still needs to be tried, and uh, we'll see what happens then. What was the feeling for the family today when you heard that guilty verdict? Um, everybody was very satisfied, um, very relieved. So well, um, what, yeah, what we want to point out is that uh, for, uh, for the first time in a very long time, uh, justice for our community was served and we want to thank the district attorney's office and everybody involved in making sure that the family gets the resolve that they need. Uh, unfortunately, we know that this is not going to bring their loved one back and they have expressed that, but at least this brings some sense of closure. We still have to go into the next phase, of the, which is the sentencing phase, uh, but at this time the family is, is very um, satisfied with, with the work that was done by the district attorney's office uh, and we hope that this will help bring at least a little bit of closure for John's wife and for his family. So, in este momento, estamos uh, muy agradecidos con el, el, el fiscal, con la gente que hizo posible que llegáramos a este punto. Sabemos que ha sido un, un cambio, un camino muy largo para ellos, y eso nunca les va a traer, aunque les va a traer un poco de clausura a en su vida, nunca va a traer de regreso a John. So, esperamos continuar aquí, esperamos y agradecemos a toda la gente que ha estado apoyando. We also want to thank all the people that have been supporting the family throughout this very uh, strong, str long, stressful process. Uh, because it has not been easy, uh, but we want to also thank the family for being so strong and for being so you know, queremos también agradecer a la familia por ser tan fuerte y por ser tan unidos uh, durante estos tiempos difíciles. Um, any additional questions that you all have? I, I need a Diana Escalante. Oh, Diana Escalante. Could you spell that for us? Yeah, D-I-A-N-A -A Escalante is E-S-C-A-L-A-N-T-E. Why was it important for you guys to wait there and see him uh, <coughs> escorted out of the courtroom? Um, we just needed some that closure, that closure to see that they were actually going to handcuff him and take him away like any other person, not someone who's married to somebody that um, is privy to the justice or is part of the justice system. What do you think about, can you talk a little bit about the impact it has on the Latino community as a whole? I know it's justice for the family, but it's really a lot of folks in the Hispanic uh, community. Really I, can, yeah. I mean, so I think for that part, I, I think many of the times we're not used to or we're used to getting treated uh, differently or we're used to not seeing justice done to our communities, communities of color. So for us, for this to happen, for us to get the resolve that, was, that happened today, it's a very big deal because uh, for once we see that the system actually worked in our favor, not against us.